Chief Sonner Clark Hunt has been pretty quiet through this whole ordeal. If you had one thing to say to him, to ask him, to tell him, what, what would you say to the Chief Sonner? Wow. One thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Several I, 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 I guess more than anything, just yeah, get it right. Uh, that's the most important thing. I think we'd be, be get it right. And don't be, don't be scared to, to admit fault. You know, this is your first time hiring a GM and turning the, the reins over to him. But don't be scared to, to admit fault. And, and, and don't forget this, too. Your family's here. I mean, there's no neglect here by the people that, that love this Chiefs organization, that have been here in town. Uh, some former players have stayed around. So, Denny Thume, the people, you have family right here that can help. I, I guess one thing I would suggest is possibly uh, a, a panel of football, just football, not budgets, not sales, not uh, marketing, none of those things, just football. Who are you going to for your, your, your football knowledge when you make these decisions? Uh, I can remember meet, meeting with your father and, and uh, uh, Carl Peterson in February uh, 1989. Just came back from being coached by Marty Schottenheimer in the Pro Bowl. And they called me in the office. I sat down and talked to him. I said, guys, look, no more slogans, okay? No more blame, no more uh, scapegoats. No more. You, there's one guy out there you need to hire, and that's Marty Schottenheimer. And if you don't hire him, everything else is just BS and smoke. But I'm going to be here regardless. And, and they got him. And, and it was a long, a lot of years of success. And he was the director of that. He was the guy that steerheaded this whole thing that made that thing good. I can also remember uh, the, the Scott Pioli issue, meeting, uh, talking about Scott, about coming in as a GM. I contacted a guy that he worked with and, and coached up there in, in New England with for a long time, with somebody I respect a lot and does a great job at his position. And he said, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't trust uh, uh, the guy with, with, with my franchise. Uh, so where are you getting your football expertise? Sat down and got a chance to meet uh, Mike Tomlin. Was with him for an hour, and I knew that's a guy. And I said, I, I remember telling our TV staff, I said, we got to do something special with this guy. This guy's going to be a head coach. He has it. You know, he just has that ability to make men follow him. Those things are important. And I would suggest maybe just getting a panel of people to help advise you about who are the good GMs out there, who are the good front office people, who are good coaches that are out there, good assistant coaches, special teams coaches, uh, uh, front office guys, player personnel guys, and, and it's somebody that's on the phone or out there talking to these guys all the time. I, it's, it's football. And I, I think that's not, that, that part of it's been neglected a little bit. All right, Bill, thank you very much.